talking about. Hey, uh, we're back here with the host of Last Week Tonight, uh, John Oliver. How are ticket sales, by the way? Uh, no idea. Okay. But uh, again, I just cannot stress enough the extent to which Las Vegas should not exist as a city. <laughs> uh, and that you are not Adele. <laughs> That's right. So, so here you are. You're, 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 you're opening with, with, with yeah, Seth there that night. Fun, yeah. Now, you started your career as a stand-up. Do you have any memorable people that you toured with, people you remember when you started out? I mean, the, the beauty with stand-up is it's a fundamentally humiliating job, right? That's, it, I think it's good for the human soul. And the lowest it ever got for me was uh, I did a gig at the University of East Anglia, and uh, my, my manager said, oh, this, you're going to go in the middle. There's three acts. You're going to go in the middle. All of that was true but he left out some key specifics that would have been helpful to know at the time. One was that the first act, the opening act, was a guy called Mr. Methane, who was a, a kind of character act uh, in Britain at the time. I believe he's still around. Uh, and it's a, a guy in a kind of skin-tight green lycra suit um, whose talent was that he could fart uh, on command. <laughs> and so he did that. He, far, he farted along to the Blue Danube. Um, to uh, He blew out some birthday candles on a cake, <laughs> and then he farted the national anthem. And Your national anthem. Uh, uh, that's God right. save the queen. God save the queen, or, or the king, but it all sounds the same when it comes <laughs> out of his rectum. So, wait, could he, could he hold a note, or yes, is it he just could. rhythm? It was, it was genuinely impressive, and you, you need to understand how much that audience loved what they were... There was a genuine sense... It was a of, simpler time. And, it was patriotism in the room of, I'm hearing stand the British far, national anthem like, the way it's supposed this? to be heard. <laughs> it's recognizably being farted into a microphone being held zero inches <laughs> away from the man's anus. Now, and you, you might... followed You them. might be wondering... I am. <laughs> were there two microphones available to the performers that night? <laughs> No. Microphone singular. So I, I went onto a stage to an audience who were uh, just sitting down after giving him a standing ovation. And I'll be honest, my 20 minutes of jokes about Britain's involvement in the Iraq war didn't go down as well as what Mr. Methane had done. I bombed. Then the final act of the evening was a guy called Stevie Starr, who called himself the world's only professional regurgitator. And he saw him... I saw him swallow and bring back a light bulb, a pool ball, and a goldfish. Yes, yes, it's the goldfish that stuck with me, too. A live goldfish. A live goldfish. Live down yeah. and live when it came back out. Live when it came back out. And I know that goldfish can't emote. I know that. But I would swear to you that that goldfish looked at me standing at the side of the stage with a look in its eyes that said, kill me now. <laughs> And they only remember things for seven seconds. No, no, but that's it. I think that's a misnomer. I think he would have loved to have forgotten that for seven seconds. <laughs> so they, they loved him even more than they liked Mr. Methane. And it wasn't bombing on stage that hurt. The true nadir of that evening was just how nice the two of them were to me backstage. <laughs> Mr. Methane, the regurgitator? They were so kind. And you've not hit rock bottom until you've seen a guy in a kind of rip-off Riddler costume peeling it off his body. And I swear, he looked at me and he said, I'm sorry. That was hard to watch you do that up there. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard for you, Mr. Methane. You found that difficult to watch. You felt I lost some dignity there, <laughs> fart man. And I look, I looked them up. He's still going, Mr. Methane. And, oh, and Stevie Starr recently got to the final of Croatia's Got Talent, which is bold because he is in no way Croatian. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, there were some dark times as a stand-up. Wow. But they're character building, right? Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Do you want to give away some more T-shirts? I, I do. <laughs> All right. Hold on. OK. Let's, let's, let's do a couple more in here. All right. One more. All right. And now, let's, let's go outside. Outside? Come on. Let's okay. do it outside. Anybody want a T-shirt? Oh. Whoa. I'm gonna try to get one on top of this theater. 
Big pieces. Yes. Right? John Oliver, everybody. Last week tonight was on HBO on Sunday nights. We'll be right back with Boy Genius.